Hi everyone, it's Mary. So today I want to share with you the system that I've been using for keeping track of my time or scheduling my events that are happening throughout the day. Uh, initially, I saw Ken from Oz um, show the system on YouTube and he adjusted the Chronodex system um, that was invented by, I believe his name is Peter Eng. Um, and what Ken did was he changed it from, let me see if I can show you something here. He changed uh, the system that looks like this. And he um, spiralized it like this. Now this is something that uh, was provided by S uh, Sarah Pings and she has a printable and it's on one sheet from Monday to Friday and uh, or actually it's Monday to Sunday I believe and she has it on one sheet and what I did was I cut it up and pasted it on um, a graphic personal size paper that I got from Daiso. So what the paper looks like is this here and it's just um, refills that says uh, for B6. So I guess uh, personal size is B6. Then, my sister, Nadine, um, or my YTS, my YouTube sister, Nadine, showed on her Instagram a photo of this here. And this one has, uh, let me see if I can show you a blank sheet. Um, here. This one here has all the numbers. So how this system works is that it goes on a clock system. So it starts basically at 6 in the morning, the inner circle here, and it goes around. This is 12 in the afternoon, this is 3, down here is 6, this is 9 in the evening, and then this is midnight. <clears throat> so what you do is within that spiral, you schedule your time. So for example, <clears throat> this one here is my schedule for today. And um, as you see, I woke up at 7 in the morning, and from 7 to 9, I basically puttered around the house and did some housework. And then from 9 to 3, I have scheduled to do crafts. And then from 3 till 6, it's housework again. And then from 6 to 9, it's family time. And then from 9 till 11, I usually do crafting on that time, but I'm quite behind with my housework, so I'm going to finish up my housework, either by just folding clothes or... Um, prepping for meal planning, things like that. What I thought I would do is show you uh, the way I document or I label or I highlight all my events that are happening. I have a color coding system that I've implemented a long, long time ago. And um, as you see, orange is family, yellow is home care or my schedule, uh, pink is my daughter, blue is my son, green is my husband, and my husband's last because I hardly schedule for him really. Um, light purple is work or appointments, uh, this magenta color is for crafting, uh, the dark blue is pets, the dark purple is for uh, YouTube and blogs, and then um, Red is important and then black is miscellaneous. So I have uh, that color coding system and then I implement it <clears throat> in my pages. As you see, in the past what I did was I tried the Spirodex and the Chronodex system together to figure out which system I like better. And I find the Chronodex a little um, confusing because as you see it has like multiple levels. And it just doesn't seem as streamlined as just a spiral, because I know a spiral just goes around. This one is jagged, it goes in and out, and you have to fill it in. It's just a little bit more confusing. And my preference really is uh, spiral decks. So as you see, I, I tried it again. I had dual systems going. I ended up liking the spiral decks better. And so that's what I've been doing. It looks confusing, and I, um, I when I first did it, or when I first saw it, I was a little afraid to try it because it looked so complicated. 
but because I'm a visual person, I actually can relate to this. This makes sense to me. My life is like a whirlwind, and this is sort of a whirlwind. So I wake up in the morning, and then, you know, the, the early morning happens, and then the early e afternoon, and then the evening, and then I go to bed. So that's how the system works, and it's all color-coded. And I just attach little appointments all over. And then if I have special tasks that I need to do, I just write it on the bottom here. And anything that I don't complete, I highlight. And then at the end of um, the week, well, because you know how you have seven days, and I print out four pages back and forth. So the back page of my Sunday um, I've been doing this, and this is uh, goals and plans for next week, and then on the bottom I have things to buy. And I put my inserts in between uh, a week on two page. And on th these are the, um, the ones that you get from Barnes & Noble, Punctuate Planners. I just put little points of things that I have to remember, special appointments, events that might happen, so that when I am planning my day, um, I can remember that. So I just put these inserts in between the two uh, punctuate uh, sheets for that week. And then the other thing that I do, just so you know, is I actually have um, put slits and I've also rounded the corners where the holes are because uh, what I do with this is I can pull it out of here. This is my actual spiral dex planning um, file of facts. But if I am going out, uh, I can pop this into my uh, other planner that I use in my purse. Or <clears throat> if I am at home or wherever working, I can easily slip this into my A5. And the secret to this, well, number one is the slit that I put in there, right? But also, uh, the secret to this is that I've rounded these corners so that it doesn't hit the third ring, um, which doesn't have a hole. So I can stick this in here and go about my planning um, pretty easily. Uh, so that fits nicely in there, and um, I can pop the sheet in and out wherever I want and then when I'm done for the day or this sheet is completely done it goes back into this planner in between uh, the week and I'm really liking it I've been doing it now for the last two weeks and uh, I really like it I'm visual like I've said before so I think where it's really going to help me is when school starts and activities start. And now that my daughter is driving, well, she borrows my car. I have to make sure that I'm able to still drive my son and, you know, that everybody gets to their activities because we're a busy household like many of you guys are. So to be able to color code, um, for example, this week here or this day, which was uh, Saturday, my dad, my daughter had friends over, so I don't know if you can see, but I've highlighted the outer circle here from 6 till 12 so that I knew that she, where she was, and I have it labeled like she's having friends over. And then as you see, my whole spiral is outlined in the green because my husband left at um, noon, and he went to the races with some friends and his dad, so he was sleeping over there. So I have that circled, and I know that he's gone for the day, and I know that he'll be coming back at three. I have, inside, I have it highlighted till noon, and then from noon till three on the outside, I have it highlighted um, that he'll be returning. So um, what that does too is it just kind of, uh, keeps track of what's happening in my family and if anything's overlapping it just gives me a visual way of seeing it this is Monday coming up right usually what happens is when I'm planning I have this sheet here and I put my little highlighters with activities of what's happening with my family but I cannot sometimes I double book on this because it's not visual enough for me um, to see 
what exactly is happening um, in the day. And it's such a wide area to look at. Well, this one here is so compact and I can see through the color coding if something isn't right or if my family um, should be one place and we can't get that person to that place. It really helps. Uh, what I do suggest is that uh, you try it out. And um, I will put the links of the places I know where you can print these out. Um, this one here, um, my YTS Nadine, actually showed it to me. Um, it's a version that uh, Ken from Oz did, and she tweaked it. So uh, I believe she'll be doing a video to, to, sh to show how to print that out. Um, <clears throat> but I love this system. It's, it looks, I know it looks like art or it looks like scribbles, <laughs> but it kind of, it connects with me. It, it, it resonates, resonates with me. I um, can understand it. I can see through the color coding what's happening in the day. I know exactly um, where the schedules are in the day and what my kids are doing because it's all color coded. And it makes sense to me. Like for example, here, um, my husband and my son had soccer practice. So I know that during that time they had soccer practice. So I had to have a, a late dinner. So um, it kind of just, it, it goes through my day. And then you see um, here, there's a pink and a blue, and that's because they had dental appointments. So it just, um, it's a map of where everybody is in the family, and it's a small, it's like, you know, one and a half by one and a half square, but yet it has so much information in it. Um, and then I, you know, I just put it on graph paper so that I can keep the line somewhat straight. And like I said, um, I, I got this from Daiso and I, I don't know how many sheets. There's either like 80 or 110 sheets usually they come in. And yeah, so Daiso has these 110 sheets. Um, and like where I'm from, it's $2 for a, a pack. And I just put this out in my printer. I adjust it to the paper size. I print it back and forth and this paper is great so it doesn't uh, bleed through and I'm not sure if I'm printing it out right or correctly so I know that uh, Nadine has been working on it and I think she'll be doing a video too to share with you the uh, printable <clears throat> but um, like I said I love it it works for me and what I'll do now is I'm going to show you a mock timetable so you can see how the system works. And then you guys can adjust it to the way um, it works for you. Because some people, like I know Sarah was saying that she just shades it in with her work schedule. So she knows, she doesn't label it. It works for her that way. I need to label things and um, put, you know, late, like wording and information about each section because there's so much going on with my kids and my husband but everybody can tweak it to what they want so let me show you now how I color code it okay so these are the two diagrams that I'm going to show you uh, these are two options that you can use to keep track of your time or schedule your day this one here is the chronodex system and as you see, it has multiple sections here in different sizes and length. Um, and I don't like this one as much as I like the spiral deck system. Now this here was uh, tweaked by Ken from Oz. And then um, I had my lovely YTS um, tweak it even more. She showed me what she uses and I really like it. Ken decided to do it like a spiral system and then he added the numbers for the hours. So you see in the top is 12, here on the side that's 3, and then that's 6 on the bottom, 9 in the evening. 
<clears throat> and then everything goes in 15 minute increments within the little section between the hours. I really love this because it's a simple circular motion when it comes to timekeeping. While this one here has, um, this here is from 6 in the morning till 9 in the morning in the inner circle. And then as you see, it's 9 till 12 at night. But I don't like how there's different levels. Um, it's, to me, this is more confusing. And I feel like this one here is more simplified. But I'll show you how we keep track of the time or at least color code the time so you can visually see your schedule with both and we'll, we'll work on it. I'm hoping that it turns out. So this here is my color coding and this is how I um, color code on my spiral decks or the chronodex. So orange is family, yellow is home care or my schedule, uh, pink is my daughter, blue is my son, green is my husband, purple is for my work or appointments, <clears throat> for my appointments, uh, that magenta color is for crafting, this dark blue, I know it looks like black on screen, but uh, my lighting's bad here, the dark blue is pets, the dark purple is YouTube or blogs, uh, the red is important, and the black is miscellaneous, and so that's how I'm going to color code. Now, what I've done is I've put a schedule together, just a fake schedule, to sh sort of show you what's happening. So, uh, in the morning, it's uh, 6 to 9, um, I have to do my morning routine for the house, uh, and then 9.30 to 3, I work, and then at 1 o'clock, I have to drop off supplies to a client, and then at uh, 2 o'clock, my daughter has a dental appointment. At 3 o'clock, my son has a dental appointment. And then my husband and my son have soccer practice at 7. And my daughter is dancing from 7 to 8. And then um, from 3 till 9 p.m., I have to finish my daily routines at the house. And then we're having a late dinner at 8.30. And we're, then I can craft from 9.30 till 11. And then bedtime is at 11. Let's go about filling the sheets. And then what I'll do is I will do the spiral decks first and then I will show you how the chronodex works. First thing, some of the pens that I use, I like to use these highlighter pens um, that I got from Daiso. And they're just regular highlighter pens. But I love these ones in particular because they don't bleed through the Filofax pages. This sheet that I'm using here is um, a Daiso uh, inserts that I got. And they're nice because they don't bleed through. And um, they were already graph paper and I just put it through my printer. First of all, I'm going to do the 6 o'clock till 9 and that's the morning routine. So right here, I am going to color in Okay. And then I work from 9.30 till 3. So I'm going to just fill in um, <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to continue to do housework until 9.15 because um, I leave from 9.15 and I'm going to be basically working till uh, 3 o'clock so I'm just going to fill that up and doesn't have to be colored beautifully as long as you get the gist with the color coding. Okay, so <clears throat> 9.30 till 3, or well I have 9.15 because I have to drive to work. So 9.15 till 3 I'm working. And then I used um, this Papermate flare for the purple. 
And then it says here, drop off supplies at 1 o'clock to clients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, at 1 o'clock right here, I'm going to put a little arrow, and I'm going to write, drop off supplies. To on my client, I'm just going to say is ABC Systems. Okay, <clears throat> so I have that indicated on there. And then my daughter has a dental appointment at 2 o'clock, and then my son has a dental appointment from 3. So basically, here I'm going to on the outside. Uh, Lexi's appointment will go from 2 till 3, so I just do a little um, thick line from 2 o'clock till 3 o'clock to indicate that my daughter has an appointment. <clears throat> so I'll put down right here. Dental appointment. And I know it's Lexi's because uh, it's pink. And then from 3 to 4 is my son's appointment. So I know that he is blue. So I will put <clears throat> that right there. Put down dental. Oops, dental appointment. Okay. And then, um, I know you can see just visually that I have a problem because I am working um, till 3 o'clock and my daughter has to be at the dentist at 2. So I can tell that my time is overlapping here. So I'm either going to have to <clears throat> call work or leave work early and let them know that I have to leave work early because I have to take my daughter to the dentist. And you can see that right there is how it helps me because I can visually see that my schedule is not going to work out between working and my daughter's uh, appointment. So I'm either going to have to move the kids' appointments an hour further or I'm going to have to leave work early. So I'm going to, what I would do probably is leave work early. So um, I'll just put a task here and put down notify office that must, or you must leave work. At, and I would imagine that I'd have to leave at 1.30 because I need time to go home and pick up the kids. So see that there is a great way to realize that, okay, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to plan ahead and make sure that I do something about it. So right here, I'm going to note... Leave office. So I know that at one thirty I have to leave the office. And then I also have that my daughter, uh, oh, sorry, my husband and my son have soccer practice at 7 o'clock at night. So they practice from 7 till 8 o'clock. So my husband is green. And I'm going to put on the outer circle 7 to 8. And I'm also going to put my son's color in there because he also will be with his dad. So 7 to 8. I don't know if you can see that it looks like one color to me. I'll just put the green in there too. 
sure that the green shows. I don't know. My lighting is pretty bad, so I apologize about that. And then I will put down right here soccer practice. Okay, so that's done. And then from 7 to 8, my daughter also has um, dance practice. So I'm going to put here in pink. Dance practice. And then um, because my family has activities and they don't like to eat um, dinner before their activities because they're running around, I know that we're going to have to have uh, dinner late. What I'm going to do is have dinner from when they get back, which will probably be about 8.15 till about 9 o'clock. I'll include the cleaning part of it too. Um, and because we're, we eat as a family, I do orange because orange is family time. So, uh, including dinner and clean up because we all are going to help clean up. I'm going to highlight that in orange <clears throat> and I'll put down, uh, right here, late. Dinner. Oops, I end it. So that's going to be late dinner. Now I know that between 4 o'clock till 9 o'clock, I'm going to finish up all my other housework that I have to do. So um, I'm just going to enter in in yellow because yellow is my schedule or home care too so that is going to be all yellow I have on here that I will craft from 9.30 till 11 I'm going to craft and I love this time because and I love being able to schedule it because then I know that I will make time to do this so my crafting time is from 9.30 till 11. And I'm going to also, um, since I see that I have about half an hour to spare, I think I'm going to try and work on some of my blog uh, posts. So I'm going to take my dark purple and I'm going to color that half an hour in and I'm going to put um, <clears throat> in there work on block and I'll put that right there and then I will put craft right here so that I know that that section there is for crafting and then at 11 o'clock I'm gonna go to bed so so that is how this looks right here as you see I wake up in the morning 6 o'clock and I do my morning routine and home care um, from 6 till 9 o'clock. At night, I basically drive to work. And I'll be at work at about 9.50, 9.30. And I am actually having to leave. And I'm going to put um, a line right there because it's important that I know that I'm leaving early. So at 1 o'clock... Or one thirty, I'm leaving work, and at one o'clock, I have to drop off some supplies to ABC. So I just have to make sure that I have enough time 
to get back to the office or do whatever because it's a half a minute, half an hour. So um, <clears throat> maybe looking at this, I can see that um, if ABC Systems is too far, I might just have to leave the office after I drop off. So maybe what I have to do is tell the office, well, I'm actually going to, once I drop off the supplies at ABC Systems, I'm just going to leave right from there. So maybe 130 isn't even a factor because um, by the time I get back to the office, it might be that time to leave. So I'll probably just leave right after dropping off the supplies. <clears throat> and then I know that I have to pick up my kids because they have a dental appointment. One is at two o'clock and the other one is at three and will be done at four. And then I, when we get home, I'm going to start doing some, the finishing off my chores for the house. And the kids have all their practices and my husband. So I know that I can, if I want to keep the car, I can have my husband drop off my daughter to dance or um, I'll drop off my daughter to dance. Or I can see too that I haven't, I don't have any appointments in the evening, so my daughter can take her the car, and uh, my husband can take his car, and they'll all be home by about 8 o'clock, 8.15, and so I know I have to do dinner prep around this area at this time, and then we'll have dinner from 8.30 till 9 o'clock, and then I can start to do stuff for myself, like work on my blog and work on crafts, and then get ready for bed at 11 o'clock. So that's how that works. And now let's do the chronodex so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so 6 o'clock till 9 is my morning routine. So with the chronodex system, um, the early morning happens in the inner circle. So I'm going to highlight this here from 6 to 9. And then I'm driving from 9.15 till to go to the office. So I'll put that there. And then I'm working all the way till 3. So what I have to do is you sort of make your line and you color in this portion here. See, this is what I don't like about it, is that it's multi-levels here. Okay, and then my daughter has a dental appointment from 2 to 3. So 2 to 3 right here. daughter has a dental appointment. So right here I'll put down dental appointment. And then my son has a dental appointment from 3 till 4. So again, oops that's orange. Take the blue and 3 till 4. See, and this is what I don't um, fully understand. Like, should I color it right to the inner circle? Or do I leave it out like this? It, I'm not, it's a little bit not as clear for me. Okay, so then um, I do housework basically till 8 8.15, so I'm going to take all of this, oops, this here, and color in this section here for my home task. And then from 7 to 8, my husband has soccer practice, and from 7 to 8, my son has soccer practice, and 
from seven to eight, my daughter has dance. So that, and then again, I can put this right here, put down soccer practice. This one here, it's dance. And then we're going to have a late dinner because my family will not be home till around 8.30. So from 8.30 till about 9. It's family time because we're having dinner. So I'll just put down right here, late dinner, and then from 9.30 till 11, be my craft. And because I said again I might have half an hour, I can try to sneak in um, blog post from 9 till 9.30. There you go. And then bed at 11 o'clock. Okay, so this is the two systems. And just depending on you and how you work or how you visualize things, one system may work better for you than the other. I really prefer this <coughs> because I can see exactly how my schedule works and it's a one smooth swirl. Well, this one here has multiple color levels, and it's to me it seems a bit more confusing than this here, and that's why I prefer this. So this here again is my color coding, and this is how the spiral decks works, and that's how the Chrono decks works. So I hope that helps, and I hope that clears up some of you questions that a few of you guys have had um, when I post things on Instagram. I think the best thing to do really is just to try things out. From there you can work on it and figure out what system works for you. So below I will uh, link the, I think his name is Kevin Ng or Stephen Ng, I'm not sure, but I'll link his uh, blog on the uh, Chronodex system. And I'll link Ken from Oz's uh, spiral deck system. And Sarah Ping, actually, uh, she has a printout of seven spiral spiral dexes. Um, and I, I used to use that until Nadine showed me uh, Ken's. Um, and this was this, and I, I just cut them out, and I p pasted it on the graph paper. Uh, so I will link... All three, um, all three blogs, or and sites where you can print out this system and try it out. And I believe my YTS Nadine, she will be doing a video on how to print this out, um, because she tweaked it so that um, you can print them out on graph paper. So I hope that was clear. I'm sorry if it's a bit confusing. Um, it's difficult trying to explain something, so I hope it was uh, enough for you guys to understand how this works. I hope you guys try it because it really helps. Like as you see here, I was able to see that my schedule um, wasn't going to work because I worked till 3 and my kids had a dental appointment. 
So I had to make sure that um, I either let the office know that I will be leaving work right after I drop off the supplies or not drop off the supplies that day and leave at one thirty. Just depends, right? But as you see, you can visualize how uh, you how your schedule is and you can make adjustments to it because you can see exactly what is happening on that day. So thank you you guys for uh, watching and if you have any questions please comment below or if you just want to comment below I always love that and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.